Hi, it's Darren with Smartsheet Guru. I recently sent out a survey to my audience to get input on what the topic of my next Smartsheet book should be. This survey helped me decide that my next Smartsheet book will be on Smartsheet Solution Architecture. Now, when I sent out the survey form, it was available in several locations, and I wanted to track where the submitter found the form to fill out. But I didn't want to include a question for the submitter that wouldn't provide any value to them. Looking in my sheet, you'll see a column called source with different identifiers. So how did I determine where the submitter found the form? I used URL query strings to accomplish this. Smartsheet has a nice help article to explain the ins and outs of this feature. Here is a standard Smartsheet form URL. To add in the query string, simply add a question mark, the column name, an equal sign, and the value you wish to insert into the column. What I can do now is post this link on my personal LinkedIn page, and I'll know if someone found the form on my personal LinkedIn page. Alternatively, I can change the value of source to email. And when I send this out to my email list, I'll know if the submitter came from the email that I sent out. You aren't limited to just adding one field in the URL either. You can add an ampersand and the additional information for the additional field or fields. One thing to keep in mind is that you have to be aware of special characters that can't be included directly in the URL. Smartsheet's help article has a nice table for reference and what you'll need to do to populate any special characters into a field. The most common is probably representing a space in the URL, which requires you to enter %20 in place of any spaces. Thank you for watching, and I hope this trick gives you some ideas of using query strings for Smartsheet forms.